Okay, Tiger, you are famous for nine windows, nine shots. Talk to me about what that is, first off, and okay. then demonstrate me the shots. I'm gonna ask you how you play some of okay. them. Yeah, well, it's, it's basically, it's the three different trajectories, you know, it's high, medium, low. And then from there, it's about whether you're gonna cut them or draw them. Yeah. And so those are your nine windows. And so I'll start off with the hardest shot being straight. Yeah. And then I'll hit a straight ball, and then we'll go from there. Regular height, straight ball, right at that flag. So today, into the prevailing wind like this, is this the wind you like the best to do this drilling? Because it, it, it's, I it's would most penal, right? Into it wind. is. It was. I would angle it slightly more this way. But as of right now, it's just slightly off the left. So that first one, I was supposed to hit it straight, but instinctively I turned it. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? Subconsciously. That's why I would instinctively point in that direction if I was going to do this test. Well, let's change it up then. You, you the boss here, you go, is one of the I'll palm go, trees going to? I'll go with the left palm tree. Left palm. So start, this is just regular six iron. That's on me. I pull that. And when you're doing this drill, obviously you're still loosening up. Do you give yourself lives or do you give yourself a score? I see a lot of people scoring themselves in drills now. I don't, now. I don't. This is just a loose whether I, whether I do it or not. That's, that's how I measure it. Until you move on. Correct. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's pure now. That's some regular height. Now we're gonna go same shot, but higher. Does the order ever change at which you play the shots? Nope. You can have me do whatever shot I want. And then same shot, lower. That is so pretty. Talk to me about how you play the low one. without getting much shape on it as well. How do you do that? Because often players will struggle well, with shape. I'll, obviously, the easiest thing to do is play the ball further back in the stance. That, that adds a little element of a draw to it. So for me to hit a low straight one like that, do I move the ball back a little bit? Yeah, probably maybe about a half a ball in my, in my stance. But I do stand closer to it to get me on top of the golf ball. And then from there, I really concentrate on the length of my follow through, determines how high I want to hit it. So my dad used to say, hey, if you want to hit one low, have your hand stop about rib high. Hit it a little higher, some about shoulder height. You want to hit the high shot you possibly can, make sure your hands finish above your head. Okay. I like the moving closer because subconsciously that then changes the swing plane, Correct. making you a bit steeper. And by not moving it, it's interesting you don't move it back so far. I don't. But if you want to really hit a low one, you still don't bring it back massively. Right there. So you're right on top of that golf ball now. So this path will change divot depth changes, and if anything, that's a little cut. I mean, that's holding in the wind, it's beautiful. Correct. Beautiful, okay. So the shape shots, start with medium height again. Medium height, we'll draw. Do you ever manipulate handle in relation to ball position? So handle forward for draw? Handle back for face? Absolutely not. I do it all with basically my, my hands and my face. I've heard so, you say that a few times. Uh -huh. I've, I've never even thought about hand yeah. uh, shaft angle and all that kind of stuff. Us normal so folk I, are I trying don't to understand it. So I see a shot that starts at the right flag, uh, the right, uh, red one there. Yeah. And I'm just going to turn it just a touch. It's great. And it's a centered strike. It's not like it's no. uh, some drawers will flail it off no. the top. No. Always a centered strike. Pure, pure. Then if I want to hit one higher, again, uh, just like what my dad used to say, you know, have my, my follow through above my head, hands above my head. So no movement really of ball position, just all in that follow through. Pretty much. 
It's all in my hands. And then for the low draw, as you said, I do stand a little closer to it. This ball back. Now I just go ahead and arc it. It's such a controlled, almost like a body, really. I mean, you're saying it's hands, but it's just the movement is so under control. That's what's impressive about that. Now, under the pump, yep. this is a range session. The visualization you will go through, I've heard you talk about red flag and turn it. We're into the cut shots now. Yep. Would you go middle of the green and turn it and pick a start line and pick a defined finish line? How are you doing it? Okay. And so, how are you controlling okay, you the amount see, of shape? You see this little green here? Yes. The, not the one, not the first one, but the second one? Yes. Okay, the right edge of that green. Yeah. There's a, one little ball there. I that's see on it. the edge of the green. Yeah. So I will start that, this golf ball at that little ball there and then cut it to the right palm tree. And that's just held up into the breeze. Perfect. Correct. But you saw a start line right I on top did. of that ball. In thought, in tournament <sighs> swing thoughts, are they even a thing for you? Or is it all reactive, 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 and hands, <laughs> and done in the pre? I've done, I, when I get in a, in a tournament situation, under the gun, I don't think of anything but that. Now, do I do a, a hell of a lot of like position work? Yes, at, in front of a mirror or on, on the range. But if I have to hit a shot now, like to play this shot in a tournament, we're on a range, but the, I'm imagining that I'm on a golf course. How I talk you through that little cut, where I need the ball to start off at that one little ball and then end it at the, at the tree. That's all how I'm looking at this golf shot yeah. and feeling it. And hitting the nine windows. I'm getting, being part of the golf shot. Interesting. And so, start that ball at that golf ball on the right edge of that green. Higher finish, in it on palm tree. And then I'll hit Really low burner, keep it out of that wind. At that ball, palm tree, there. It's almost like you're seeing it in your mind as you're even swinging it. You're talking it as you're swinging it. That's like how I putt. I putt to the picture. You know, all this information, I'm taking all that into an account and then I'm putting to the picture, or I'm hitting my shot to my picture. Yeah. So that gets rid of all mechanical thoughts. I just put all the information in, and what I shot I want to hit, um, how, how far I want it to go, what, traject what trajectory I want, I'll put all that in, and then it's all on my feel. It's awesome. I mean, watching you go through it, it's, it's amazing. Watching someone go through the gears like that, it makes me want to hit them, but I know I'm not going to even, <laughs> We're not even going to talk about my 2,500 windows. Just seeing nine uh, is perfect. I love it. <laughs> and then for the end it all. Let's hit it dead straight again. Fantastic. Always a privilege. Great to see. Thank you, brother. Top man. Cheers, buddy. Hell yeah. <laughs>